away from the bright lights in the back. Uh, so I see they've given us the graveyard uh, kind of uh, presentation. Um, and the mandate from MTN was, um, Wayne, 52 slides, get the message across in 10 minutes. Um, so, uh, you know, my job is at stake, so I have to do, you know, in terms of the, the orders that, that were given. Um, what I did was, um, just to give you a bit of a, a background around MTN, uh, we're all industry-related um, uh, colleagues, as I'd like to think of it, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, a colleague of mine, Patrick Wally, presented last year around who MTN Business is. So um, one of the things that he left last year's presentation on was where we were going and what we were doing. And so I just want to spend a couple of slides talking a little bit more about, about what we've done since there. So um, if I can just get the infamous clicker. There we go. So just in terms of what we do, um, MTN Business is a corporate um, uh, uh, converged telecommunication service provider. Uh, in terms of the industries that we focused on, these are still the industries as per last year. So we're focusing on, on multiple verticals, so financial, government, uh, ICT, media, manufacturing, and pharmaceuticals. Just in terms of the levels of offering, uh, again, this is what Patrick uh, basically alluded to last year. Um, in terms of the product sets that we're focusing on. I think um, where I'm going with this is, is, is just obviously going higher up in the stack. Um, Access is our core business, and that's where the organization started out. And as we move up the stack to services and convergence is where um, everything comes into play, and that's where all the managed services and the cloud-based services um, is where, we, where we're obviously focusing on. In terms, of, uh, in terms of our roadmap, this is where the interesting aspect comes into play as we're driving towards uh, fixed to mobile convergence, and that's where I think I'm going to spend probably three minutes talking to you about what we're doing today within that space. Obviously, there's reasons to, to why we chose fixed to mobile as a strategy that we're moving towards, um, and this is, this is where we see it, and this is what, what, what's happening out in uh, corporate market. Um, in terms of business calling functions, we're seeing a lot of requirements from corporate South Africa saying we want mobility, and by that I'm not talking about we require a cell phone. Um, we want uh, the flexibility of our employees to be able to work anywhere um, at any time. And then from a collaboration perspective, we want to be able to look at integrating this mobility um, with other services and tools that are out there to be able to connect so via uh, video conferencing, be it on a thin client that happens off a webcam or your laptop or via your mobile handset, you want to be able to connect via, uh, via those mechanisms. And then also be able to integrate into business applications, but not so much just using business applications because we know you can, but making sure that you can do so optimally. So integrating that with the mobility and then looking at what are the new uh, methods of communication that we can use? How can we better enhance it? So these are the questions that are coming out from corporate South Africa saying, well, we want to see what you can do for us from a converged perspective and how you can bring the tools that we're using disparately within our organization and push it out to, to our mobile workforce. You know, from a, from a challenge perspective, again, you know, we're looking at a, a whole facet, uh, a whole number of uh, facets of challenges that come into play. Um, there's risk that needs to be taken into consideration. Um, complexity, uh, organizations are looking at how can we make it a lot more easier. So we know that it is possible now, but how would it be easier? Um, then there's always efficiency, and as corporate credits become more and more of a roundtable discussion, um, organizations like ourselves are starting to look at how we start to enforce that and, and, and boost our efficiency around our technologies. Scalability is one of those points that will never go away, so uh, it needs to always be scalable, um, and we need a strong underlying infrastructure. And then agility, and I think in every organization, not only in telco, agility is becoming one of those words that is most frequently discussed because um, as you've seen, you know, the times specifically within technology are moving rapidly, so you need to be able to adapt very quickly to that change. And then the desire for flexibility, we've seen it comes around all of these, either these devices, as we've put some of those up there, um, the applications that you're using, the operating systems that you're using, the different types of collaboration tools that you use to communicate. So we've taken all of this into consideration and looked and said, well, how are we going to help our customers uh, move in that direction. And so the concept that I've put up here is, is, is basically looking at um, a disparate kind of uh, a, a solution. 
um, where customers are saying, well, we have a majority of our users sitting in one area um, at our main site, and then we have a whole lot of disparate branches. And we want those disparate branches to be able to communicate with everybody else within this network using all the tools that we as an organization provide to them. Obviously, all of this uh, fits right into what our business is, and so that's where, from a cloud perspective, um, we see ourselves bringing value to, to corporate South Africa out there by developing platforms that obviously sit on top of our network. And then just in terms of looking at how that, that spans out from a communication perspective, the focus for us in line with our FMC drive is obviously looking at how we can bring cloud services like PABXs into the cloud uh, to offer more efficiencies um, and other types of cloud services that we can pull in. So like CRMs that I've mentioned out in there. And then look at other types of collaborations that again, uh, don't necessarily have to sit within a brick and mortar kind of scenario. For us, um, in terms of our FMC strategy, the first step that we took was, was basically bringing out a product that highlights that we are moving in this direction. It's called Unipresence. And Unipresence basically talks to us offering one number to our corporate customers out there. And that one number that lives um, on, your, on, your, on your physical um, landline, or not landline, sorry, your desk phone, or a thin client on your, on your laptop, um, or on your mobile phone. Without having to go through any more presentations, what I want to do is, um, is just play this 2 minute and 99 second video clip to give you a little bit more of insight world, around it. Where time Thanks. is money and responsiveness is service. Communicating with your clients and keeping them happy has never been more important. And there are many different ways we can stay in touch. From the crisp voice to voice sound of the landline, to the personal computer sitting on your desk, to the laptop for when you're out of the office. And finally, perhaps the most important device, the mobile phone. But imagine we could take all of that and bring it into one, making communication that much easier, that much simpler, and that much quicker. One number for each of your employees, one number for each of their clients to remember. Introducing MTN Unipresence, the latest innovation from MTN Business, which brings all your communication devices together as one, linking your employees and clients, making your business that much more efficient. It's your office, no matter where you are. And here's how it works. We begin on your desktop computer. Once installed, the program shows an on-screen version of your smartphone with voicemail features, call receiving, call history, and others. MTN Unipresence also adds features such as corporate contact, intelligent presence and status indication, and instant messaging functionality. When a call comes into your one number, all the different devices will ring, allowing you to choose which one to answer. Whichever way you choose to answer, you'll be greeted with the highest quality sound. The beauty of MTN Unipresence is the seamless transition from one device to another. Now you can take your office with you wherever you go, giving you access to everything you would have in your office, including voicemail, fax mail, email internal messages, IM, and more. And when you're done, simply put the phone down and wait for the next call to come in, wherever you are. But what does it mean for your business? MTN Unipresence gives each of your employees one number, linking all their devices, connecting them to colleagues and clients at all times. MTN Business will tailor the package to suit your business model, working together to find the best solution for you. MTN Unipresence is completely outsourced. We'll take care of the day-to-day -day maintenance at no additional cost to your business, and there's no capital outlay. It works off your mobile or internet connection, Wi-Fi or LAN, helping to keep your overall costs down. MTN Unipresence also allows you to focus on your core business, it's the power of next-generation communication without the financial burden. MTN Unipresence is a professional communication platform that allows you to connect with multiple points, improving your company's productivity, cementing relationships with your clients, and keeping your business at the cutting edge of communication. It's the future of business communication, brought to you today by MTN Business. It puts your business at number one. It's MTN Unipresence from MTN Business. Business anywhere with one number. Great. Well, thank you very much. I think I did cover my 10 minutes with that. Um